Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little video here about what we have been doing this week in Mathland. So this week in Mathland, we have been taking a look at um, solving equations. And so I'm gonna kind of pan over here a little bit. So we started off by looking at one-step equations. And so what you see in those black boxes, that is the algebra tiles. So I'm kind of gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can get a little better picture. So those long skinny rods, those are going to be the x values and then those pluses um, or those minuses they represent like the units um, what i have underneath is the actual like math expression like the equation that your students your child is going to be seeing so when i teach these they can use any strategy that they want to get the answer they just have to model their thinking so the problem they see is there's a value unknown x plus six units is equal to 10. And so you can see with the tiles, they were able to see they have six on one side and six on the other side. So they took those out and they were left with x equals four. We also did talk through the inverse operations. When you see addition, you undo it by subtraction, multiplication, undo by division. And so they do know how to do inverse operations. It's just right now a matter of preference as to what do you prefer to see. Um, as you can see on this side with this one step, we got three X values equal 15. And again, we undid that multiplication by dividing. Now, I'm gonna pan over here. We were able to go through two step equations. So you can see again, undoing we see that there's nine on both sides then we have two groups of x's and six left over again both of these you can see how the tiles are being removed they're creating that nice picture on both sides and ending up with that x value equals that statement to be able to go through. Multi-steps get a little bit trickier because that distributive property comes into play. And for some students, that distributive property is so abstract that we try to visualize it as like two groups of 2x plus three. And you can see that here's your two groups of 2x plus three and then plus three x equals 27. And you can see that from combining like terms, we end up with seven X's, there's seven X's plus six equals 27. And then we were able to get rid of the stuff they have in common and come up with that X to be equal to three, okay? Today we took a look at variables on both sides. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more so you can see the tiles. We were able to do, we have two X on one side, three X's on the other. We have a four and a minus one. Understanding here that we can remove the thing that has, you know, when there's X's on one side, X's on the other, we can get rid of those. And they were able to work through them. Now, the algebra has not changed. So here's the algebra basics. Um, up on top, you can see our um, equation mat of being able to cancel values out, remove things, removing zero pairs. And then again, I walked through everything that happens. Now, please understand that what you see on top is exactly what is happening down in the algebra. So just because we're using algebra tiles and removing things and making zero pairs and adding, that's exactly what the math is saying. The algebra tiles create that visual for students. Right now, they are able, you will see some of your child, you know, they're taking their math home right now and they're drawing the pictures out. Others of them have already mastered and have seen where that visual piece is coming from and are able to work through systematically to go through and solve this by using what we have been told are the inverse operations. So you can see that we were able to write the equation from looking at the tiles. We are able to combine like terms. We put that 16 with that four together to get 12. We remove the same X values from both sides. You know, there's four on one side, there's two on the other. So I'm gonna, com I'm gonna combine and move that two over. You see that there's six units on one side and there's 12 on the other. Well, I'm gonna take off those six units because I see them both on either side. And and then that leaves you with those two X's to equal that six. And then you can determine the value of X by using the inverse operation. Um, I just wanted to make you aware. And so you can see this is what we're talking through. Again, we do always use the same terminology. Inverse operations, again, those have not changed. Addition or subtraction or those positive or negative values, multiplication or division, or even the distributive property. 
Really, the shriverative property is where, where pieces are kind of falling apart here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, I stress really heavily that that th you have three groups of X plus four. Like that's what that means. It looks like three X's and four units. Um, some of our students are able to kind of look at that, the mathy side of it, I call it the mathy look, and distribute that through or multiply those values through because they know that it looks like three X's and four and three groups of four, which gives you that 12. Um, they have an eight question worksheet that is coming home today. And again, I have stressed over and over and over again. I am not as concerned about the answer. I care about the process. How are they going through to get it? We have a lot of um, different and varying levels of comfort when it comes to solving equations. And so I want to know where are they at? What are they doing? What methods are they choosing? Why are they choosing it? And where is it going wrong? And where is it going right? So I need to see the process. So if your child says, I'm done, please check it over and see if there's any work there. Again, work can be either tiles or it can be the math. Okay, either one, I just need to see where we're at, what's going on, and what is happening. Uh, this will continue to come into um, chapter six as we go throughout it. We're about halfway through right now. We're going to jump into some um, exploring variables on both sides a little bit more and looking at those solving inequalities. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out and ask for um, clarification. Um, if you're like, can you show me that poster again? I'd gladly take a picture of it and send it to you guys. Um, just let me know how I can help and assist and I hope your weekend is wonderful. See you guys later.